child should pay for the sins of the parents. Don't you agree? Everybody to a special Weep Tunes episode where we're talking to one of our local production teams. This deals with, if I believe, anime. Yes. Okay. So today we're with um, Tabs Production, and and she's just going to like take us through what the anime is, how it got started, what it's inspired by, because slowly the space of Zamian Creatives is expanding as well as in areas such as anime, gaming, manga, um, we we comics, everything. So yeah. So who am I? I'm Olga. I'm I'm one of your OG Nodotaku members. I am your master MC, your mama son, everything else in between. Okay. We have Dennis, he's our COO. We have Abigail, one of our main Weeptoons leading gals. We have Tabs, the founder slash creator slash all the super, super things with us, as well as some of our other members, um, Akende and Gilbert. So definitely, like, we're going to go through it and everything. So now that we've had the formal part done, okay, yay. Okay, firstly, hi, Tabs. As we all know, I'm Tabs, producer, well, leading producer lead animator we have akende at the top there who is our director he does visual directing he does storyboarding and he does the backgrounds we have gilbert on the side there who is our main character tatsu so yeah just to introduce the team in case we all thought it's it's very small no we're actually a bit bigger than we thought we would be firstly what is the super. Let's say for people who haven't even heard of it, what is the super? Okay, so it's a Zambian produced anime. So I wouldn't say it's a Zambian anime because there's some Zambian references that are not there, but it's a Zambian made anime, which is pretty much like your everyday shonen type of anime. So it's a shonen Zambian, anime, Zambian produced anime. Okay, okay. Okay, now um, I love that you've given some type of clarity. It may be a Zambian produced anime, but it's not a Zambian themed anime per se. Yes. Okay, no, awesome. Okay, so what is the storyline? Just just a very basic um, plot. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna have to try break it down to the narrowest point because I am that yes. person that loves explaining. Yeah. Um, so we follow this world of people that are gifted because, well, yeah, they're gifted. They have abilities which will help them create, well, recreate the world. So in that society of people with abilities, there is a rule that says there is no, not allowed hybrids, that uh, people have different abilities combined. So this follows the story of T Tatsu. Who is a hybrid who's trying to protect his brother from the laws of we are not allowed to have this? That's the simplest way I can explain it. Because if I go detailed, I'm going to spoil for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, um, I understand Gilbert is our protagonist. Yes. And our antagonist just joined the group chat. <laughs> Here he is, Legend Sun, everybody, <laughs> acting as um, Mr. Kim. <laughs> Okay, okay. Wait, um, how early on in the anime are we introduced to Mr. Kim? Okay, so because the first episode is the only thing guaranteed, we see him in the first episode, but we don't know anything yet. Okay, okay, no, great, great, great. Okay, um, oh, I'm not going to ask for spoilers, like hearing their, their character voice. Uh -uh, uh -uh. People have to watch it. To hear it okay like, like what's it like like for each of you respectively what's it like being a protagonist and what's it like being an an antagonist in a in a zambian anime 
a, a salmon produced anime because like for me this is new so like like yeah. you get to be the first like what's it like well for the protagonist side uh it's pretty cool it's really cool um i enjoyed playing someone who's like uh a lawful good character so not gonna lie i would have enjoyed playing the villain I feel like I would have killed that, but I really, I really do like playing the main character. I was actually going to ask about that, like you know, it's like most weeps dream to be like to play, like to voice act someone in the anime community. So I'm going to say hero or villain, but then you know, you say villain on your own, though you're doing the playing the hero. True. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Kim? Um, funny story. I was supposed to play, um, is it Tetsu? But I, I, I sucked at that. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I sucked at playing Tetsu. So um, there was this um, audition going on. We were going through our scripts and I tried time and time again and uh, Tabitha was like oh you got this you got this but I'm sure in the back of her mind she was like nah he ain't got this <laughs> but um, so she just decided to switch um, roles and I got the part of the villain um, someone said that I sounded like a pedophile and uh. and, and, and he loved it or uh. she loved it so <laughs> yeah it's interesting playing uh, something that I have, that I don't think I've ever played before, ever. So, yeah, I think, I think it's really cool. I'm just, uh, I just hope going into it, I explore different ways to best deliver how, what the demeanor of this character. So, yeah. Oh, awesomeness, awesomeness. So, Tabs, you have thrown, okay, these two gentlemen and God knows all the other voice actors into this dimension, okay? And wait, wait um, before we get to Akende, okay, um, I wanted to find out, um, what is the production process like? Like, let's just say, if it can be like like square by square, like this goes to this, goes to this, goes to that. Like, how did you get started with this? Okay. Um, so first thing that, the first process that was there was basically the idea and saying, yo, we need to do this. That was Akende saying, yo, Tabs, we need to flex. And Tabs was like, eh, I have this story, which I, I wrote a long time ago, which we can just like do and like, let me see it. I gave him a couple of old stuff, which is like really old pencil drawn grade four drawings. And he was just like, Tabs, I don't know what's happening here. So I was like, <sighs> okay. So we had to like restructure it, had to rethink um, certain things, especially if the plot was different. And now we had to try and make it a bit more mature. That was like the whole first process. And then now that's when we went into, okay we may need voice actors. So what I did is that I posted on my status saying, anyone who thinks they can voice act, send me your auditions. They sent me voice notes and yeah, chose four people. So we have four voice actors. We have four voice actors. How many voice actors like audition? Like how, how, how was that? And how did you, because I'm assuming you played the role of casting director. How did you um, do that? Cast it? Okay. Um, so as a very, creative person it's more of that thing where when you hear someone say something or you hear their acting you can immediately be like oh i imagine my character to sound like this so it was a thing where um they would send the auditions on whatsapp i would listen to them and i'd be like eh, okay and eh, this will sound better on this person and yeah so that's how it happened we had okay at first there wasn't so many people that auditioned because that was still like, because we didn't post anything about it. So it was just like one or two, three people come at a time. I know for the female role, there were three auditions, but the first person couldn't make it. 
second person um, was quite bad with um, communication. So we went with uh, Melindy Chan, who did an excellent job as well. And yeah, and that's how it kind of happened. That's the second process. Then the third process was the storyboarding and having the idea drawn, which Akende did. I gave him basically um, what should happen. Well, we had a script writer, Takuza, write it. And then that's when I sent it to the storyboarder. Then he drew it. Then me, as a producer, would obviously give him a headache and be like, so I want this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. That's how it kind of went through. I was making so many changes because I thought we could always do it better. He was just like, tabs, we don't work like this. I'm just like, but yes. <laughs> but anyway, and yeah, so that was kind of like the process of get- before we got into the actual production. There was lots of changes that had to come through those scenes that were added because, we you know, you could always feel like we could do it better. And even right now, I'm pretty sure the team feels like we can do way better than we are right now. But because we are in the production, we love what's happening. We love the feedback. Then from then, we... What happened? Okay. From then, I booked a studio session with um, one of the... One of the sound engineers that do Zambezi Magic Sound, um, Oli Benjamin, who's also a rapper under headphone music. We booked a studio session with him. I picked up the actors, all four of them, well, no, all three of them. Legend Sun doesn't live in Lusaka, so he did his own from that side because he's also a musician, so he has his own studio to do stuff. So that's, um, Dennis, I'm pretty sure you saw the clips I sent, the behind the scenes from that day. We went there. It was, like, somebody may think, like, oh, this is, like, a big effort. It was really pretty small. We just took the step to be like, yo, let's start this. So we went over there. They did the voice recording. We used the storyboards to guide them because we didn't have actual animated um, animatics as yet. So we used the storyboard. I got the flash. And then from that onwards, that's when now I started animating the animatics and the scenes on how they're going to be placed. Um, using the storyboard, using the sound, because obviously because the lip sync, we need to animate over the lip sync because we can't animate and then ask these guys to do, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was the process. Then while I was working on that, Akendi was working on backgrounds. So he would do like the first layer, which is just placing things, which is just like having the main field. Then I, he gives it to me, then I put it in the... The project file and then that's when now maybe i do like the clean animation which is just like the lining and the base color so that's how it's been and then editing will also edit as we go so i do the editing as well but i do send things often to akende to be like yo what do you think of this we put ideas together and then recent decent we started meeting a bit frequently after seeing the the process at uh, the progress of the people's what what yeah um he comes through to the hq which is my house <laughs> and then we sit down and we're like okay let's edit this and let's do that so it's basically we're just using our skills whatever skills we have to like push each other to be like yo i we can do this we can partner at this and yeah yeah because yeah. you find that some people have better um some people have better, are stronger in certain fields, and some people are not. So there's one scene that was done by another animator, which is Mulako, hashtag MJ Slim. He did a very short scene, so he did that. He's quite good at the action. So I was just like, you know what? I'm that, I'm that calm person, so I do calm stuff. You guys can do the action and stuff like that. So he did like a short scene. Then the other guy that designed the logo, actually, interestingly, as much as he didn't contribute much, he's the one that was like, you know what, swap Legend Sun and Tooth Fairy and Gilbert, swap their roles around. And then when we did that, that's when he was just like, whoa, that was some great advice. Because honestly, I was just going to make him practice until he got it. <laughs> but because of the swap, it was just like, whoa, that was crazy. I legit almost cried that night because the process of um, the rehearsal for the for the cast, we used the WhatsApp group. So at a certain time, it would be like, yo, guys, get online, this this rehearse. I'd be like, this time we're going to rehearse. If no one's online at that time, I will call them individually and be like, yo, it's you and you rehearsing today. 
and then they get on, they send the voice notes one after the other, everybody hears it. And yeah, that was basically the voice note, the voice note rehearsal, which built up to the actual acting. So yeah. Very, very cool. Um, I'd like to know from Akende, like what, um, like in, in terms of like doing say backgrounds and stuff, um, how, how do I put this? Like, where are you pulling from, right? Because I don't think that, um, is there like a skeleton already of like, um, an, like an idea of like, uh, does the script, uh, I'm sure the script sometimes tells you where the, like what the location is like, but in situations where it doesn't, like where, where are you pulling from for stuff like that? And what is that process like in general? Usually in the script, it would say, you know, warehouse or open field or cave. And then with that, you always have this artistic freedom to imagine whatever space you want, you would want. But then me being a rebel, sometimes I'll take very few things from what she sent me and then I'll just make something, <laughs> just make something else. And it still works out because the background is really do look nice it's very you'll you'll see the animation it's something that i'm really proud of making and the backgrounds are very they encompass the characters it, it blends well with all the characters to the point where like you think this is actually produced by a high quality studio. nice 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 so like uh with the like can you take me through like how doing the storyboarding was and what it's been like seeing storyboarding work go from like um like the first animation draft to like uh, the final animation yeah, yeah so um, after i got the script me and tabs were talking about the story after she gave me like a brief outline the same one that was like chopping up then as i read the script it's sort of like you know reading a book you have to visualize what these characters are doing in the moment. And that's what I really, I, I actually prefer reading books rather than watching movies and all that stuff because you get to imagine your own scenario, your own characters, your own feel of areas. So with the script, I personally enjoy shonen action, visceral, dynamic based animation, the angles looking at a character from up to down twisting the camera. So with storyboarding, it's I think twenty eight pages of sequence small boxes that will um try animate in a in a better way. And I know Tab's can attest to this. I've got a very bad form of rough drawing. My fine drawing is all right, but when it comes to rough drawing, I know I was annoying Tab because she can't really read what I'm drawing, and I'm the only one who can read what I'm drawing. So I'm I, I apologize, Tab. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> so is there like an already finished script, or it's, you're going episode by episode for the animation itself? Because I figure some people would like enjoy reading and watching it. Maybe like most people like to read or just read the manga for the anime. So is it like a, an episode by episode kind of thing, or it's more of a um, everything's already finished? You already have the story. You already reviewed everything. Okay, um, I think I'll answer that one. Um, okay, so obviously, you know, even when we are seeing news about like um, Ufotable, Mappa. We see that the most important um, part about this industry is the funding. So because this is the first time this is happening, this is the first time we're having such an experience in Zambia. Well, that I know of. So because this is the first experience, it's something that we can only say after we have something out already. So at the moment, no, there is no extra so that people can see in advance or any extra scripts. It all goes to how this is going to turn out because end of the day, we all have jobs, all people have jobs, people have school. This takes lots of time, e.g. Um, 
if you follow our pages, there's a, there's a point where Akende spent 15 hours to animate 19 seconds. So now it's just like, My yo, if <laughs> <laughs> legit, <laughs> it's it's it, that's the that's the that's the part of animation people never see. So we just hear news like, oh no, Mappa's taking on another 10 production, but we never know how much work goes into that. So us being on the forefront of, yo, this is the work, we can't make stuff immediately, you know? So yeah, so no, there's no that, and it all goes to the feedback of the first episode. I was just going to say that since, like, do you have, a, like, a duration? Like, how are you moving? Is it maybe, because I know animation is quite difficult because there's the drawing, you have to draw, like, every single scene, everything the person is doing, like, minuscule little things at once. So it's like, how is the, how is it going so far? Like, maybe how far into, like, finishing the first episode are you at right now? Okay, so um, so we started produ- Okay, we basically started production in February. That's the voice recording. So I remember the voice recording was in February. So we started in February, and right now we are. What is this May? We have done seven minutes of rough mix with clean animation. So the processes left is shading, special effects and sound production. So if I had to put on a scale of percentage, I would say we're about 65 to, okay, no, I'm lying, 67% done. There is still sound to happen. There is effects. And it's been extremely difficult because, okay, not really difficult, but it could have been better because it's mostly me and Akende on the production side because, um, finding people available, finding people that can actually pull through enough to get the quality on point has been difficult. And just finding animators who are willing has been also hard. This is legit when they're starting to show up after the news has been out saying that we're doing this. So now this is when we gain people being like, yo, I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm interested. So hopefully we will have more. When I mean more, I mean more people, more time more funds and everything so yeah um speaking of like funds and like um what kind of organizations like what other kind of like organizations do you associate with do you deal with and the like and do you hope to or rather the ones that you're aiming for in the future like what's currently there and what what are you aiming for Oof, what's currently there <laughs> Um, okay, so at the moment, I would say the support, okay, the support is coming from, you know, individuals. At the moment, the music industry has helped us quite a lot because you find maybe just maybe doing some music videos, animated music videos helps fund our our own stuff. So music industry has helped a eh, few individuals and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> few individuals and stuff helped so far but when it comes to in the future is that animation is creation full stop it is creation it's a very powerful tool that if we had to dig deep into how we can use this to you know to impact different things like the economy impact that it's quite detailed there are many possibilities example would be the say we create a show, and now in that show, obviously, we will need a place where the characters will eat. This type of lotion the character uses, or the type of water they use. So it's things where we look to, um, we look to partner, not only really partner, we look to approach people such as, they say, hungry lions. They say we have a hungry lion joint in the super. We have butcher bottles in the super, where these characters are having our daily stuff, you know? So I feel like that's the most beneficial way we can actually even just promote Zambian businesses, Zambian brands, is that we have these things in animation where people are going to watch. Because I won't lie to you, most of the fan or some of the fandom doesn't only come from Zambia alone. The people in SA, uh, some even like my web, my comic series, um, 
I see time to time there's American people like reading the stuff. I'm just like, whoa, okay. So the vast variety is a bit bigger than I thought it is, you know. So yeah, and well, there's also the the normal cliche. Okay, not cliche. Let me not use that word. There's also <laughs> the normal places that we would like to collaborate with, which is maybe like TV stations and um, film stations, and you get what I mean. So it's basically there's a whole anyone can basically help support us. Anyone can benefit from what we are offering. Anyone we can benefit them as well. Benefit to them as well. So yeah, I don't know. Akenda, do you have any top up? trying to get more animators to join our sort of movement and in fact no we're trying to build an entire industry of animators and artists who can actually produce good quality animation because what we're used to is a very comedic very like low quality form of animation but basically what i got was yeah. that um you want to get the more creatives especially like um yeah. uh, those who are like animators and the like yeah so yeah <laughs> no no awesome at, at least like yes which is really important because i really think like through the expansion of these type of industries it will help uh on various levels for us as a country first of all um creative outlet equals better mental health yay then the second one is um job creation industry expansion like like it's a whole plethora of things so honestly what you guys are pioneering for it's mm, mm, it's commendable because imagine if um the super actually like lands on like ZNBC or something i mean you know not so long ago i think it was um one or two days ago um uh there were, uh, we were having another interview about about something of a different scale but still anime related and we're like okay we our introduction to anime and abigail also speaks quite frequently of like you know the introduction to anime and the like and like our generation we got in we we got introduced to it through znbc which was like the voltrons and the what and all of that and now imagine now on znbc again or whichever other platforms or channels that we have you know in zambia because i know right now we're in the smartphone era but still you know now imagine if your your animation your anime actually airs on these things and the next thing you know oh snap this was made in zambia oh snap this is what not so now imagine how like you know you will blow the future generation's minds 100 percent. i believe in you <laughs> yeah. coming to that i also want to find out like, like what platforms uh are you guys gonna uh put this on and um do you have any plans on monetizing it somehow like what's what's the distribution and publishing um, side of things like what's that like okay that's on me <laughs> um so currently it's gonna be on youtube uh do we have a plan for for, for distribution i guess at the moment it goes with Basically, we're just taking a chance with this. The first episode legit is the chance episode. It's just, yo, we have this product. Yo, this is our vision. Yo, we need to do this. But um, in terms of promising places, I, I would personally love to have it on Diamond TV because that's a very youthful um, platform, you know? That's a place where most of the youth would actually take the time to go and watch so um in terms of plans it's it's in process it's in process <laughs> cool i wanna i wanna quickly switch to our voice actors because they've been quiet for too long i'm gonna i'm gonna hound them with a bunch of questions now i want to know like from i'll start with so we'll be switching between uh, uh gilbert and um it's the three voice actors now right Available on the call, <laughs> I'm assuming. Great, two, two. Okay, yeah, they'll be switching. Gilbert will be going first. Um, what was the um, the? Just imagine, just imagine Tabs is in here and answer honestly. What was the? <laughs> what, 
what is the uh, audition process like? How did you prepare for it? Uh, how what um uh, uh where did you pull your inspirations from when doing stuff? How easy has it been for you to get direction? Because sometimes I know you can have like um an idea of what the character is like and the direction is like the complete opposite of what you're thinking how have you dealt with stuff like that um yeah i guess uh i'll go first well for the audition portion i initially auditioned for tetsu my character's younger brother because I can raise the pitch of my voice and sound significantly younger. But um, I eventually got recast as Tatsu, and I had to. Tabs had told me just like, try to act like um, Kakashi from Naruto. And that's, that's kind of the, the, the direction I went with. Team Kakashi, Kakashi Team Kakashi. 7. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Yes. That's the direction I went with. Really? Like, like Kakashi? So, so Tatsu and Kakashi are like siblings? Is it? So, sorry, no let me way. just... Let me, sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Kakashi, wait. <laughs> I did not say act like Kakashi. I gave him his character bible and he was like, okay, this sounds more like a Kakashi character. And he went yes, to Kakashi Yes, yes, now I remember. <laughs> I acted like Kakashi the whole time. And okay, was, all right, okay. And then, um, the like, for your, actually for like both your characters, like the protagonist and the antagonist, did you guys like have a, a like a form, like a sheet that explains like characters? backstories and like personality so that you guys can like act it out better or are you just going to go with like faith like I, I think he's the good guy and i think he's the bad guy so i'm just going to go with that because all we know the protagonist could be the antagonist and like plot twist i'm just saying so. or like devil man cry baby type of uh you know the holy one actually turns yeah. out to be the devil uh no, <laughs> I uh, we had the script. <laughs> we had the script, the script. and uh, we had we had like a synopsis, and that's that's sort of where we got the ideas. <laughs> okay, alright. Okay, no, that's actually okay. At least it it makes you. I'm sure that's really helpful, like when you have voice acting to understand your character better and how they would react in certain scenarios, I'm assuming. Yeah. Like for voice acting, anyway. Yeah. Okay. You know what? The villain has been quiet, Mr. Kim. I'm uh, devising a plan, an evil plan, sorry. <laughs> That was corny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Flourish. Live your best life, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, first of all, Tabs, I am so sorry. I mixed up the characters uh, that I auditioned for. I actually was uh, set up to... I was set to play Tatsu. That's Tetsu's elder brother. Uh, and sometimes... I aced it, and sometimes others I, I, I didn't. So um, I remember Tabs hitting me up and saying, why not try uh, the villain? And so my approach to playing the villain was uh, not using um, an anime villain or an anime character as a reference point but using a character based off of uh, a series called C with Jason Momoa. There's this woman uh, that has a kin kingdom and basically C is about blind people um, and those having sight 
not uh, seen as normal. They are seen as uh, heretics or witches. And so I, my approach to playing Mr. Kim was uh, in how the villain in the series expressed herself. So she would always speak like, uh, and there, there are cer certain similarities when it comes to Mr. Kim and uh, the villain in, in, in the story of C. She would say something like, uh, I, I, I will not betray your kindness. I don't know. I, I will always repay your kindness. She speaks like that. She has like a, a widened type of uh, voice. And so my approach to that was like, like that, basically. And um, after that, she was like, okay, you got the part. You did a good job. But I want you to um, study. You did a brilliant job, man. Oh, thank you. So thank you so much. The voice acting experience. Oh. Voice acting isn't something, I guess, people really do. So, you know, it's like getting into character, getting your character's voice in the right setting for the scenario, that kind of situation. Like, how has it been? Because I know if I was told to like voice act something, that's just gonna fail. I'll just be laughing the entire time. So I wouldn't. Ah. It's too funny. Ah. So you know, like the serious parts, the jokes, everything. How is it feeling? Know, it was. Well, I. Yeah, you'd have to get into a space mentally to imagine that you're in that type of situation to deliver um i think it's the same as rapping or singing only i do that when i'm alone so it's it's easier for me to perform best when there is no one in the house it's, it's quite crazy um, voice acting has been nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking. It's been challenging and it's quite different because you have to pour whatever emotion that is needed into the character. And I mean, with acting, I, I, I think with acting, it's, it's, it's much easier because you, you, don't, you not only have the voice, you have the facial expressions and the body gestures and all that. But it's just your voice that you're relying on. So you have to make sure that, like, with this phrase, you have to be menacing. This phrase, you have to be, you have to have some sense of humor. So, um... It was. It's challenging. It's nerve wracking. Um, when you listen to yourself, because I record myself, and when I listen to myself, sometimes I think, ah, I didn't do a good job. And others would be like, oh, you actually did a good job. So, I, I, it has ups and downs, but it's it's really, it's been an interesting experience. Also, being a villain. I think getting into it, I was worried that I might actually be a villain in real life, but I'm, I'm still okay, so yeah. How has the experience been in terms of like what, you, what your expectations were and what it's actually like? Has it been exactly what you expected? Has there been something that you found that you're like, oh, okay, this is, I didn't know that this was an aspect <laughs> that, that is part of the job. It's exactly how I pictured it, actually. Like, multiple takes, um, multiple takes. the director uh, telling me, uh, the director be more emotional. Be more emotional. Give, give it your all. And, like, I, I was like, oh, okay. This is exactly how I saw it. <laughs> this is exactly how I pictured it. Um, was it the same? That's it. What yeah, it was the same, same experience, really, because um, I guess I used my experience of you know, recording songs 
because there there's the aspect of takes and getting things right you might have to record this one line many times and submit different takes so as to have them select the right one so it's pretty much the same experience of the same expectation that he had that i had no actually i was just going to not believe because how the son was saying it initially didn't seem like it was so easy i mean as someone that's not really thought about voice acting and what goes into voice acting I think it's something I wouldn't know how to expect, but it seems like the voice actors themselves know what they were like signing up for. So I guess that's well and good for them. Yeah. But then um, I, this is more like like generally like the voice actors. Do you guys meet up sometimes? Maybe if you have to record like a scene together or something like that because of the whole COVID thing. And if like most voice actors are they like in the same town or it's mostly using like online stuff or using like you know whatsapp like voice notes voice messages yeah uh, gilbert like, do you want to answer that to, to like, <laughs> hq is helpless but yeah we we did some stuff through whatsapp and then we had like a recording session with um, Mali Chan and Tooth Fairy. Uh, Legend Sun wasn't there because, like Tab said earlier, he doesn't live here in Osaka. But like we had a recording session. It was a lot of fun. And that was just for like, um, what did we do? We did our respective scenes and the initial stuff. That we did on WhatsApp was like rehearsal. Okay. And also to both you voice actors, if you had a chance to change your like voices, like let's say Gilbert becomes the protagonist, I mean the antagonist, and then Legend Sun becomes the protagonist, would you guys actually pull through with it? Because it seems like in as much as you're doing your voices and you love doing your voices it's like you, you signed up for being the protagonist and you wanted to be a villain so i figured i just need to ask like you know how is it like yes you're voicing some person if an, a character you didn't expect to and you're having fun but if you had the cho- like the choice to like change from hero to villain and villain to hero would you actually go through with it I like being the villain. I I wouldn't change it. <laughs> I would change it in a heartbeat, but I like being the hero as well. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So clearly you both want to be the villains in this story. They should have been two. At least. You know, that's actually not a bad idea, Tabs. <laughs> there are two, because there is Kira, who's the female, which we have forgotten. Oh, the villain. Okay, now I'm getting really interested. I thought that's a spoiler, but it's okay. So, I think oh, villain, that's really cool, because most of them are guys. So, that's actually cool. They should like an anti-hero or something somewhere. Just throw it in there. For some of us expect too much. I Don't worry, we got you. We got you. Don't <laughs> worry about that. Yeah. I'd like to submit my 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 personal petition too. Yay! Um, do you already have other anime productions in mind? Be them different stories, but um, uh, different universes. Ooh, what, what this? What's this? This is free advertising. That's what this is. <laughs> I saw this coming. It's, it's, it's not free. I it's saw not... this coming. <laughs> it's oh, not... I'm paying for internet. <laughs> okay. Um. Definitely. <laughs> 
definitely. First of all, um, we want as many people to join this. It's not even just about me, like my productions. It's about everyone here because everyone here has a story to tell. Everyone here is doing something, you know. Um, I'll give you an example. Akende has his own um, storyline. Ah, not storyline. Akende has his own uh, show on YouTube where he tells stories about his past and whatever. They're quite funny. It's comedy skits. They're legit one of the best things I've seen from a Zambian creator. So, yeah, it's more about we want more out there. It's not just about the super. The super is just, hey, let's collaborate. But from the day the super is done onwards, it's about, yo, let's create, let's have an industry for this, you know? This is mostly like to both tabs and attending. Um, I for sure do. Okay. Um, I know that people in Zambia, have stories, right? They have stories, anime stories. I literally know like two individuals that were like would make comics like back in high school and stuff, and like everyone would read them, that kind of thing. So, and then some of them obviously went and did like future stuff with something ancient. So it's like, um, initially, I personally didn't know about like the auditions and everything. So I only knew about it once the post came out that there was going to be an anime. So like since the post came out, since you put out the post for the anime itself, have like people been coming to you more as compared to before for actually knew what was going on? Because like I said, for me, I only knew about it like on Twitter because I saw like a retweet about it and I was like, oh, okay. This is so cool. Why have I not seen this before? And then next thing I know, it's just coming out like next month. So it's like, um, I'm sure like apart from Akende, there has to be maybe like some other animators maybe that have gotten in touch that want to be part of the project or maybe upcoming ones if there's any upcoming one. So like... I wanted to maybe ask more about that. Like how Okay, uh yeah, um definitely there has. On my side I think I've got about four animators and okay, not four. I uh, had two animators and two upcoming ones that don't have materials but they really wanna join. Um I can decide he also got people um DMing him about it. So yeah, it's it's been it's been that thing of people have been coming to I guess the reason to why um, it was not said earlier because no one would expect this to be the face of anime or that or that or that. Everyone has this expectation that if something was to be produced, it would be probably an older person that has a suit or that has this whole what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I, I legit had like an um, an interview once. I think um, yeah, Miss Shon- Sh- Sh- Shinondo was there when the guy was like, yo, this Bali creating his own anime. I'm just like, Bali? Is that? But anyway, <laughs> um, so that's the kind of response people are probably looking for. And then when we show up as the team, it's just like, yo, we didn't expect them to be like any, any ordinary person, you know. But obviously we do ask like fans, especially for that respect still, as much as... um we are just peers and whatever having um to answer people that who ask for things so rude is not something we want to be tackling um yeah as much as we're your age mates we are not gonna tolerate being rude we're not gonna tolerate your mannered behavior towards the production or our cast and crew okay uh to be honest at first i as I said, this was a chance project, but with the way it's been coming up, my expectations is that we should turn into an actual industry, well, an actual production house, you know, with actual workshops with how to train people, because that's what's needed. It's something where even part-time jobs can be offered to younger people, because it's something that um, the older generations can't do what we're doing. Their time has passed for it. They didn't pick it up. So it's a thing where we're going to start leading this new industry. So we're seeing it bigger than just the, just bigger than just us. We're seeing it as a whole industry, a whole, you know, a whole network of animators, a whole, yeah. It, it's, 
Yeah. <laughs> well said. Well said. Akende? Personally, for me, I just want every African child, black or whatever, to not be afraid to become an artist. Because becoming an artist in this country alone is a very big leap, be it an animator, painter, rapper, writer, script writer, movie, I mean, director of film. And I would really love that to change to the point where art isn't considered a hobby. You can actually get a proper salary of it, where you can just have an industry and give jobs to people who really love what they do. Because even though I say like my back was dead after those 15 hours of animating, thank you, Sam, I still loved every single hour of animating and that would never ever leave me. So I want every single child who has a heart for art that rhymes, Legend Sun, I'm taking your rapper job that they should continue growing as artists. That's what I want. Nice, nice. Gilbert, expectations? Uh, the same as the candy and tabs, really. I want more people to be inspired. I want like the Zambian entertainment industry to grow because we don't, we don't really have a lot of diversity in terms of entertainment in this country. I remember talking to Akende the other day uh, th that when it comes to like TV and movies from here, it's usually either drama or comedy. And I feel like we might be starting something like maybe one day we'll end up we're, we're pioneering the animation industry in this country, essentially. And I hope that it grows after this and it inspires more people to start expressing themselves more and we can have something that can go out to the entire world and eventually put us on the map um i uh, i think it would be best to start off with how i never expected this much traction i never expected so many eyes to see this i just got into it and i just did my part and i i consider it a small part but you know when you come together it's like a big effort and a lot of people saw it and they were like oh this is cool i can't wait for this and you have a bunch of people from different parts of the world uh, looking at us. My expectation is that, you know, in a world where a bunch of people say within the country, like Zambia, there is nothing that can come out of Zambia. Zambia can't do this. Zambia can't do that. I just pray that everyone will shift their eyes to us but that can only happen if we stay um projecting excellence so yeah that's 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 what i hope for abigail as as a as a fan <laughs> what what are your expectations um as a fan or just a normal anime Zambian citizen, I think I'm really excited. Not even I think, I know I'm very excited for this like anime. The fact that it's going to be done by Zambians, like for Zambians, is what's giving me like so much hype for it. So I'm really excited about it. Like I hope I, ho I really, so I'm hoping it becomes like an actual thing. I at least don't leave us hanging. Please give us an ending. <laughs> an ending. Even if maybe it won't continue, we just want to know the end because we're, we're going to be plagued. But I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I'm very excited about it, personally. Personally, I'm super excited. And I think a lot of people are because it's new. We like new things. And 
congrats honestly on like being the first person to actually do this like for the first time ever so i'm very excited for it can't wait i'll probably be one of the first people like putting alarms on my phone to like watch the first episode that's uh, a one piece fans trauma they are speaking about wanting an ending <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Olga, what are, what are your expectations? That was me. No. <laughs> I just want an ending. Too many anime has left me with zero ending. Only season one. I need to know how it's going to end. Please. Please. For the sake of this whole anime community, we all want to know how it's going to end. That's why I was asking about whether there's like a book and stuff about it since it's not really like the like comic. You mentioned storyboarding and everything. So I was hoping it was going to be a novel I can read one time and finish. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. We'll wait. You keep us in suspense. You're going to become Mappa and the Tuck on Titan. Please don't do that to us, please. One piece trauma. And she's quite right. That's is quite right. Uh, tabs. Sorry, Abby is quite right. See, Tabs, Tabs is on the brain here. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, my expectations from this. Um, let's see. I don't think I'll say something that hasn't already been said, honestly, because like, I know that most of us are looking forward to, again, industry growth, um, more opportunities for people to actually live their truth rather than, you know, um, rather than having to uh, stifle who you really are just because one, no, you're Zambian, that means you can't be anything. And two, no, create, um, being a creative means you don't have a job, <laughs> you know? What you like to do, oh no, it's a game, it's a hobby, it's just what, oh, it won't take you anywhere. Like, no, no. Because I've actually seen this, is this, Diamond TV, DSTV, something. It's one of these, was it Zambezi, whatever. It's one of them. Um, they're actually doing a course where they're teaching. Is, is it like the film school, the whatnot, and all of that? I'm like, yes, thank you. Because this can actually be your bread and butter. Multi-choice, yes, yes. So like, you know, um, the gifts you are given should manifest and actually, you know, reap rewards. Because again, um, to touch on what Tab said about like, you know, the previous generation or generations, you know? Okay, they let this pass and, you know, hold on, you need to shut that down. Yeah, so, so they let this pass because again, God knows the things they were told, you know? Oh no, you can't do this one, you can't do that or But now like, okay, look, you didn't get to, but let's represent, this is us. I, I think this is Zambian expression. This is showing that there's creme de la creme in this country and the more you act out on this, you guys, you know, collaborating, coming together, we actually now have case studies. We actually have examples of people being able to successfully collaborate, being able to successfully get something off the ground, and it will have long levity, longevity, whatever it is, you know? And yeah, just again, abs, um, what um, Ab Abby said, a lot of things, it'll start, it'll be great, then it does. It'll start, it'll be great, then it does. Because We've heard a lot of people say, ah, oh, this is Zambian company. Won't last long. So it's just encouraging to see people actually do something and it will work. It will get done. And it will, there's that, can I call it security? Because insecurity. Um, it'll give us that security in ourselves, knowing that, yeah, we can do it. Something can actually come from us. For me, that's really that, that's it because let's say on a personal level there's also a lot of things that i was made to believe that you know no this is stupid no you can't do this can't do that when i was a kid in school i used to say when they're like, i don't want you to be like oh i want to be a video games tester i want to be a this that this that and people were just like what the hell is that you know you know sit down and like now that we actually have these spaces existing like you think my inner child isn't you know ex you know excited like i am going to heal through this <laughs> So give us the platform so that we heal our inner children. Give us the thing we weren't given. Okay. Amen. Advertising for Vatra. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, yeah. For me, that's really it. Like, you know, it's touching on the inner child that didn't get to be their authentic self. Thank you. Like, please continue. It's really, really important. You touch on levels that you didn't think you touched on for a lot of people. Because even at my age, like, I'm like, there are a lot of fantabulating things I need to do with my life. But the spaces didn't exist, but they're here. So, please and thank you. Well said, well said. For me, like, um, I'm, I'm glad that uh, it would do something for the industry as a whole. I think, um, uh, like you said, uh, there's a lot of talented people that just don't know that this exists. And having, um, um, you know, like you said, like uh, reaching out to animators, or reaching out to voice actors, in the beginning, you, you have a limited reach, but now that it, you, you trailer is out and more people have seen it, and uh, like Abigail said, there's more people who want to join in and stuff. And to me, that's exciting. Um, obviously, there's a, 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 now you're going to have to start dealing with production issues and being like a CEO of like n n uh, casting stuff and like managing people and all that stuff. That just comes with the territory of like starting uh, something new and it growing slowly but that like like I said like the more the more people see this the more you even collaborate with people um, even outside of the country and stuff like that so that's very very exciting to me I'm hoping that my hopes are that um, uh, this gets uh, proper funding uh, if not from someone or a corporation then maybe even like a Kickstarter maybe like once episode one is out it's it's gonna be popular you're like here's episode one this is what we can do with zero money uh i'm asking for i don't know one million dollars if if zero quacha can do this imagine what one million dollars would do and uh i it's just it's up from here dude like it's just it's up from here so i'm very excited about that um i guess you can close us off tabs with like uh when this is coming out and 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 just you know closing remarks i guess and don't forget right. sorry sorry can everybody like drop their handles because yes you need more followers Def definitely um first of all thank you for hosting us this has been this has been great actually like i really didn't expect it because i was just like hey man no the talk is just gonna be quiet on us you know but then eventually like when melindy was like yo tabs Dennis wants to. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, dang! <laughs> so it's it's yeah, it's 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 been a pleasure being here. I'm pretty sure um, the other guys would say so as well. Um, it's coming out in June, towards the end of June, which people don't know yet, but towards the end of June. And just to put it out there, we're going to have a live screening to when we can watch it. It may be an RSVP. <laughs> event because Women. of yeah. <laughs> we we will we oh, announce oh, we will oh, have to announce oh, this so oh, please do oh, follow our pages oh, follow my page follow gilbert's page follow legend sun follow akende everybody is working hard towards this and the live screen is definitely going to happen we're gonna have our cast there gilbert we're gonna have our cast there on the day <laughs> yeah so yeah, we we basically we appreciate this. We appreciate everything that the people have been doing. When I saw one thousand views, I was just like, "We beat the Smash or Pass community." But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Akende, director, do you have any last words as well? Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for this opportunity. This was a great interview. I I personally would love to watch this, you know, 30 years later when I'm an old man to see what we did in our 20s in the Zambian community for the artists, with the artists. And hopefully this grows. No, it will, it will definitely grow. People are going to enjoy this. People will watch it. And right here is the genesis of something brilliant. Mr. Kim. Kira. What's the deal with this kid anyway? Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim. Huh? What happened? Yo, Tetsu. 
Keep your breathing deep and calm. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I I don't I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. To think that he escaped from our hands, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? The child should pay for the sins of the parents. Listen, we are about to make an industry. Yeah.